everyone. I am Christy. I work at the Kisker Road branch, and today we are going to make salt crystals. So welcome. What you are going to need is a half cup measuring cup. You're going to need a measuring uh, cup here for our water, some spoons to stir. You're going to need a glass jar that you can see through. You're going to need a pencil and some string, or you could try twine. Food coloring is optional. And you're gonna need different kinds of salt. So I have sea salt, iodized salt, kosher salt, or you can even do Epsom salt or whatever other kind of salts that you have. You can, uh, the fun thing about this experiment is you can try different salts, different strings, um, and see how your crystals grow and which environment grows best, which materials will it grow best in. And you need a grown up. Okay, you're going to need someone to help you with this because we have to use really hot water. So first thing we're going to have to do is heat the water up and you heat it up to right before all the bubbles come. All right, so I have done that and here is my pan and I used half a cup of water. All right, so I poured my water in, I put it on the stove and I let it to get right before bubbling. All right, and then you choose your salt. I am going to choose Epsom salt. And I'm gonna get my half, and I might do a little more because we wanna make this water to where when we're stirring, there's gonna be salt left over that the water can't even absorb all of it. So you pour your salt in. And if you need to pause this anytime, please do so. And then you start stirring. And we're gonna stir for at least a good minute or until the water gets clear, but you don't want all the crystals, like you're stirring and stirring and stirring. And it looks like I might have to add more salt because it dissolved. I'm gonna add some more because we want this water to be full of salt to where there's going to be some salt left over on the bottom. All right. So you stir, stir, stir. So this water is becoming super saturated. And when the water starts to cool, that's when the magic happens. Okay. All right. So when the water my goodness, there is some crystal still down there, but I'm just going to be, I'll use my second spin because it's not wet. Now this might be different with different size salt too, but you want to stir to where there's still some crystals on the bottom, but it's starting to get clear. All right. Now I know you could do the stirring part, but be careful, okay? Because the water's hot. So what you wanna do is you want to pour this. Now, if you don't have like a mason jar which can handle this heat, put, a, put your spoon in here and it will help your jar, okay? Oh yeah, I've got salt on the bottom for sure. You don't want to pour the salt in, just the liquid part, okay? All right, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but in my, con my bowl or my pan, I still have salt in here. All I want is the liquid part, okay? All right, so now what we are going to do is you are going to take some string and tie it to your pencil. And then you want to measure how much string do I need? Now you don't want the string to touch the bottom. And after practicing a few times on this experiment, the string gets weighed down by the water, clinging and the crystals clinging to it. So make sure that even when it's like stretched out, if you stretched out the string, it still won't touch the bottom. We don't want the string to touch the bottom. 
So make sure you pay attention to that when you're cutting. And then why the reason you don't want it to touch the bottom is you don't want the crystals to just stay at the bottom and touch the string down there. You want the crystals to move up the string, okay? All right, now if you're wanting to add food coloring a drop or two, now is the time to do it. You've got your pencil and you've got your string. All right, all right. Now make sure the string, this is like four or five pieces of string put together. You want your string to be like edgy, like twine's got like some rough edges on it, or this has got like multiple strings together. You don't want something soft like a fishing line, you know how it's real smooth. You want the crystals to be able to grab onto the string and have something to grab onto, all right? So then what you are going to do is you put the pencil right on top and make sure that string is in the water and make sure the string doesn't touch the sides of the jar, okay? We want it to just dangle down, dangle down. That's what we want. All right, good. So that's it. That is it. Um, make sure you put your jar in a place where a cat won't knock it over, or a dog won't knock it over, or a person won't knock it over, it doesn't get pushed or shoved. Um, you want these crystals to form and so it needs to be in a still place, all right? And this is what's how, this is the science part of it. The science part of it is like, why do the crystals grow in this water, right? Well, when the water starts cooling down, it makes conditions unstable in the jar, in the water. And so what happens is um, the dissolved salt will leave the water and cling to the string. Isn't that something? And as days go by, the water evaporates and that causes the conditions to still stay unstable. And then more crystals will form. So the fun thing about this activity is that this experiment is that it doesn't take a lot of time to do, but you're gonna have to wait a while for results, okay? and different types of salt will produce different results and like table salt might take days for you to see results. Um, this is an experiment you can observe every single day for like a week and see what happens. Um, I will show you what happened to mine. So I'm gonna move mine out of the way and I haven't looked at mine yet. All right, I got one that I made last night. So we will see, well, yesterday, yesterday day, about this time, so about 24 hours later. And I will see, we'll both observe together what this looks like. All right. Ooh, I wish you could see this. Wish you could see this up close. So what I have is my pencil. My string is in the middle. Can you see the string? All right, I see crystals in here. Now, I didn't use food coloring. I tried the food coloring before, didn't work, so I did not do food coloring. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. <gasps> Look at this. Look at that. Can you see it? It has crystals. And some of my crystals came off the string, but it was all the way held down. And now, look at that. You can see crystals growing on my string. That is so cool. And there are crystals in the jar also. This was after 24 hours. They look long and very, very thin, like a millimeter wide, but they're long and they're just clinging to each other and clinging to the string. Very, very fun. I'm gonna have to keep experimenting to see what happens. Oh, this was so fun. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing this activity with me. Have fun experimenting. Have fun trying different strings, different salts. 
even if you cool it, I just left this on the counter, so it's cooled by room temperature. What happens if you cool it at room temperature versus you cool it in a refrigerator? I don't know. But there's so many different ways you can play with this and experiment and and uh, see what kind of crystals, what sizes, what shapes, all that kind of fun stuff. So have fun with this experiment and have a wonderful day. Please come in and visit us at the library. We'd love to see you. Get some more books and um, have a wonderful, great day. See you soon.